Hey, good morning. Pastor Chris here. Welcome to the Poolside Chat. Got some conversation going with my Saturday uh, message. So I had complimented Gen Z, Gen Y, the new generations coming up. Um, that maybe we could learn a little something, something from them with work-life balance. Maybe they could learn something from Gen X and Boomers, my generation, about how we made life work, um, working as hard as we did. And there's a, I think most of the conversation came from people my age, which was interesting. Um, thought I gave maybe the younger generation a little too much credit. Let me challenge you. See, if they're the younger generation, if you believe that they are lazy, if you believe they don't have a work ethic, if you believe they don't know how to interact with other people, if this is your experience or your belief, this is not on them. This is on us. Because they learn from their parents. They learn from us. They learn standards of behavior. They learn how to, the, the mean and the hard work uh, from us, from their parents, from the generation that are now adults as they grow up. I heard a comment from a father that said he takes his son out to work, not really to do anything, but he wants them to know what a blister feels like. And there's a lot to that. You know, there's a verse, and let me give you two verses. One is Proverbs 22, verse 6. Now, this is not a law or a truism, but it is a guiding principle. For those Christian parents and those parents who have done everything right and their children's children don't really follow that advice, I feel for you. But it doesn't change the guiding principle, the proverb, as you would say, in Proverbs 22, 6. And what it says, start children off on the way they should go. And even when they're old, they will not turn from it. That doesn't mean this will always happen, but it means this is what we, parents, older generation, or raising up the next generation, should do. Where do they learn these ethics, these principles, the value? is from us. Gen Z, Gen Y, Gen X. Oh, excuse me, Gen Y, Gen Z, younger generation, the ones coming up, the ones going into the workplace, the ones going to college, the ones making their mark on society, the ones who are learning how to work, the ones with work-life balance, and why I made my comment Saturday that I think you might be onto something that we can learn from you about work-life balance. Um, there's a verse for you, too, and it's in... 1 Timothy 4 12. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. It says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you were young, but set an example for the believers in speech and conduct and love and faith and in purity. We, parents, older generation, are supposed to teach you how we made life work and the values that make life work. You are to set the example and remind us that, hey, this is what you told us. So we can say you're right. So I thought of these two, I don't know, sides to the same coin. Because I still stand by what I said. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Gen Z, Gen Y, you are not lazy. You do a lot right. You have a lot to show us. Which is the truth in 1 Timothy 4.12.
<laughs> there is a blue jay taking branches off my tree to make a nest. Let's see here. And parents, Gen X, now Gen, Gen Z. Look at the truth of Proverbs 22, 6. Train up a child in the way you should go. Two sides of the same coin. And I pray that we continue to talk and learn from each other. Hope this helps. Thanks for the comments and conversation. And, uh... Anyway, just wanted to address it. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Uh, from a baby boomer, get out and enjoy nature. And uh, remember the awe that we used to look at the world with when we were a kid. Facebook. YouTube, Rumble, at FL Compass Church. Let your family and friends know. Um, keep the questions coming, and we'll see you Saturday. Have a blessed week.